The Baltic Sea is one of the busiest maritime areas in the world. Both the number of ships and the quantity of cargo are growing rapidly. More than 2,000 ships are navigating the Baltic Sea at any given time. Fairly small vessels, about 4,000 tons, offer an impressive load transport capacity in relation to their size compared to railway and road transportation. They serve as a storage place too, a storage place that's constantly on the move. More than 750 million tons are transported to and from the Baltic Sea's ports every year. That's about 15% of the world's maritime transportation. Accordingly, the maritime transport system in the European Union's northernmost waters are of very great importance for the trade between the North and other parts of the Union, as 60 to 70% of this trade is within the Union. Large parts of the Baltic Sea are covered by sea ice every winter. Sea ice differs from the ice between islands, continuously moving around depending on changes of wind and current. Heavy ice ridges, which are difficult for ships to break through, are often formed by strong winds. Some of them can have dimensions of more than 20 meters and stand on the seafloor. This is an obstacle to unimpeded navigation. Today, this barrier of sea ice can be overcome by a winter navigation system consisting of the national icebreaking fleets, ice class rules for merchant vessels, ice traffic management, and informational systems in cooperation. The need for icebreakers arose when the steamers became more common late in the 19th century. The first sea icebreaker, the Finnish icebreaker Murtaja, was built in Sweden in 1890. The icebreaker fleet today is well equipped to cope with the demands from the shipping industries in the northern countries of the EU. There have been continuous upgrades throughout the years. For example, the icebreaker Emer is thanks to the Windmoss project now more fuel efficient and environmentally friendly. Due to the aging of the existing fleet and future demands, the icebreaker fleet needs to be renewed and the first new generation icebreaker will be delivered in the springtime 2016. Winter navigation requires vessels which are designed and strengthened for the stress and strain of sea ice. The propulsion power must be sufficient and the hull must be strong enough to withstand the pressure from drifting ice and the forces that affect the hull when a vessel hits large ice flows or ice ridges. When the ice situation becomes more difficult, the authorities impose traffic restrictions for ports with ice obstacles. Traffic restrictions are imposed for safety reasons and for improving the traffic efficiency. The winter navigation system with its components help vessels bound for ports in ice-infested areas. Information and clear instructions for operators is available and written by the icebreaker authorities. Vessels bound for Finnish and Swedish ports with traffic restrictions report to Ice Info or other VTS service on a predefined position. Useful information such as icebreaking waypoints and icebreaker working channel will be relayed to the vessel by the VTS service. If the vessel gets stuck in ice, she will be assisted or towed by the nearest icebreaker. Sometimes even a pilot boards the vessel from an icebreaker. Together, the VTS service, icebreaker crew and pilots ensure a safe passage through the ice from the ice edge to port. IBNet is a computer-based information system that is used within the authorities in the Baltic. Input in one IBNet node on an icebreaker, for example, is automatically replicated to the other IBNet nodes. This gives the same view and the same decision support for everyone. The cooperation in the Baltic goes back to the 60s, when the Nordic countries signed the Nordic Treaty, it was agreed that we should cooperate in specific areas. Since then, the cooperation has developed and become closer, especially between Finland and Sweden. The big step was taken in 2004 when the Baltic Icebreaking Management, BIM, was organized. 
BIM is a development of the annual meeting between the Baltic Sea States Icebreaking Authorities, which have assembled for more than 20 years. It was decided that BIM should function all year round and that its strategy is to develop safe, reliable and efficient winter navigation in the Baltic region. WinMOS, creating infrastructure for future winter navigation.